A uh, train is pulling out of Grand Central Station and accelerates from rest at a constant rate and it covers, oh, a displacement of 800 meters and a time of 20 seconds. What is the rate of the acceleration? We also know that V naught, I'll just write that off to the side here because there's not enough room, is zero meters per second. So we can solve this. Uh, we can solve for acceleration as a function of displacement. Again, we're using the same equation x equals v naught t plus one half a t squared. So we're going to solve this for acceleration. Now it's easy because the initial speed is zero. This entire term will go away. So we get x equals one half a t squared. So I'll rewrite x equals one half a t squared. So we want to isolate a. We're going to get a by itself. a is divided by 2. It's multiplied by 1 half again and multiplied by t squared. Now we want to do the opposite of each. a is multiplied by t squared. The opposite is dividing by t squared. So I'll do that on both sides. t squared over t squared will cancel. A is now divided by 2. The opposite of that is multiplying by 2. Cancel, cancel, and I'll rewrite. A is 2 times the displacement, which is x. I'll just write delta x divided by t squared. And let's just check our units. x is meters divided by t squared, or second squared. So this works out dimension-wise or in terms of units. So now we can apply or substitute the numbers in. 2 times the displacement, which is 1,600 meters, divided by the square of the time. 20 squared or 400, that's 20 times 20, seconds squared. That's these little brute force here. 1,600 divided by 400 is 4. 2 times 4 will be 8 meters per second squared. That's the acceleration. Let's go ahead and solve this out now that we know that this is dimensionally accurate or the units work out. So to solve for the displacement, it's going to be, to, excuse me, to solve for the acceleration, it's 2 times the displacement, which is 800 meters. 800 meters is the displacement. Divided by the square of the time. Let's just square the time. 20 times 20 is 400. And seconds times seconds are seconds squared. And we use a little brute force. 800 over 400 is a 2 to 1 ratio. So that is 2. 800 over 400 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4 meters per second squared. So when the train takes off, we'll accelerate. We'll pull some Gs. Well, a little less than a half of G. And you'd get pressed back into your seat a little bit.